are Marilyn Manson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Madonna Wayne Gacy. And you call yourselves, you're Marilyn Manson because? Because that's my name. Uh, you're not going to help us understand the... Uh... Oh, you want to understand where the name came yeah. from? Yeah. Uh... I've always watched talk shows. I haven't got to watch yours very often, though. I watch more of the trashier ones. But um, I found that Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson, about five years ago when I thought of this, were the two most memorable people from the 60s. I thought it was interesting that things like talk shows put them on the same kind of celebrity status. And I thought uh, that uh, dichotomy of positive and negative, putting those two names together, uh, represented... Uh, what I had to say and what I was about. Over the last couple of months, Marilyn Manson has been seen out with countless celebrities like Kanye West, Machine Gun Kelly, and even Travis Barker. And now that the shit show that is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is over, I think it's time that we revisit the allegations against Marilyn Manson that are being levied by his ex fiance Evan Rachel Wood. Evan and Marilyn Manson began dating when she was just 18 years old and he was 36 years old. They briefly were engaged in 2010. So, one day I saw her, she showed up with uh, the heart-shaped glasses that are on the, the poster for Stanley Kubrick's Lolita. It was meeting someone who had a sense of humor to know that, okay, oh, people are going to make fun of the fact that you know, it's a Lolita-esque friendship, relationship, whatever the case might be. I mean, you know, so... But leading up to the events before Evans would expose who her abuser was, she would go and testify before Congress in an effort to secure a Bill of Rights for sexual assault survivors in all 50 states. She would detail her personal experience by saying, my experience with domestic violence was this. The toxic mental... Physical and sexual abuse, which started slow but escalated over time, including threats against my life, severe gaslighting and brainwashing, waking up to the man that claimed to love me, raping what he believed to be my unconscious body. Rachel would then testify before a California state panel where she would decline to name her abuser once again, but detail her experience with domestic violence. The fear of being judged by society is debilitating and the fear of retaliation from my abuser is paralyzing. I have been diagnosed with complex PTSD, including disassociation, panic attacks, night terrors, agoraphobia, impulse control, chronic pain in my body, among other symptoms. So in February 2021, Evan Rachel Wood and four other accusers came forward and spoke out against Marilyn Manson. Evan Rachel Woods released an Instagram statement stating, The name of my abuser is Brian Warner, also known to the world as Marilyn Manson. He started grooming me when I was a teenager and horrifically abused me for years. I was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. I am done living in fear of retaliation, slander, or blackmail. I am here to expose this dangerous man and call out the many industries that have enabled him before he ruins any more lives. I stand with the many victims who will no longer be silent. After the release of her statement, Marilyn Manson went to his own Instagram to deny the allegations. He said, Obviously my art and my life have long been magnets for controversy, but these recent claims about me are horrible distortions of reality. My intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. Regardless of how and why, others are now choosing to misinterpret the past. That is the truth. After the release of those statements, other Manson associates have spoken out as well. Both his ex fiance Rose McGowan, and Wes Borland have voiced their support for the accusers. I'm disgusted, but I am mostly proud. Proud of Evan Rachel Wood and the others who've come forward against Marilyn Manson, my ex. When he was with me, he was not like that. But that has no bearing on whether he was like that with others before or after. It takes time to come forward. And again, I am proud, proud of these women and anybody who stands against an abuser. 
So anyways, Marilyn Manson's ex-wife, Dita Von Teese, also released her statements in regards to the allegations surrounding Marilyn Manson. She said, I have been processing the news that broke Monday regarding Marilyn Manson. To those who have expressed your concerns of my well-being, I appreciate your kindness. Please know that the details made public do not match my personal experience during our seven years together as a couple. Had they, I would not have married him in December 2005. I left 12 months later due to infidelity and drug abuse. Abuse of any kind has no place in any relationship. I urge those of you who have incurred abuse to take steps to heal and the strength to fully realize yourself. This is my sole statement on this matter. Thank you for respecting this request. But these allegations that are being brought up by Evan, is it new? These allegations have surrounded Marilyn for years, starting in 2001 when he was charged with assault and sexual misconduct because he spat on his security guard's head and rubbed his G-string clad genital area on it during his concert. Also referring back to his autobiography book, The Long Hard Road Out of Hell, in this book, there is a chapter called Meeting the Fans in Meet and Greet, in which he recalled a deaf fan who got covered in raw meat and had sex with a number of band members before getting urinated on by himself and his bandmates. He would also go on to speak with Spin Magazine about his first breakup with Woods in 2007, where he revealed that he had severely self-harmed after their split and also shared violent thoughts about the then 22-year-old Evan in his song, I Want to Kill You Like They Do in the Movies, about his fantasies he had every day about smashing her skull in with a sledgehammer. After this interview resurfaced, however, he would release a statement saying, obviously a theatrical rock star interview promoting a new record and not a factual account. The fact that me and Evan got engaged six months after this interview would indicate that no one took this story literally. Even though, you know, I don't mean, I mean to each his own, but if somebody gets on, does an interview and talks about how they had a dream or a fantasy about bashing my skull in, I'm, that's probably a red flag, don't you think? Now these allegations not only surround him, but they also surround his bandmates. For example, his bassist Twiggy Ramirez was accused by Jack Off Jill singer Jessica Adams of sexual and psychological abuse while they dated in the 90s. Once this information came out, however, Manson did say that he knew nothing about these allegations until very recently and was saddened by Jessica's obvious distress. He removed Twiggy off of his um, touring party following the statements that were released by her. When him and Twiggy got back together, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever witnessed. These two best friends reuniting, which was a big deal. I felt like I was just witnessing something incredibly special and historical and just amazing. You know, I mean, they are, when you think about it, when you think of Marilyn Manson, I mean, that's one of the last rock stars, one of the last rock icons, you know, him and Twiggy Ramirez are a team. And then at the height of the Me Too movement, Marilyn Manson would have a police report filed against him for unspecified sex crimes dating back to 2011. The district attorney, however, declined the case because the statute of limitations had expired and there was an absence of corroboration. Evan would continue to speak out against Marilyn Manson and state that she had to file a police report after she was alerted to the threats made by Leslie Lane and his wife for conspiring to release photos of her when she was underage after being given large amounts of drugs and alcohol after Brian performed on Halloween in Las Vegas to ruin my career and shut me up. She also continued by saying, I was called a Jew in a derogatory manner. He would draw swastikas over my bedside table when he was mad at me. I heard the N-word over and over. She also continued by saying, everyone around him was expected to laugh and join in. If you did not, or God forbid, called him out, you were singled out and abused more. I have never been more scared in my life. This would prompt Wolf Alice's Ellie Roswell to speak about her experience with Marilyn Manson by saying, I met Marilyn backstage at a festival a few years ago. After his complaints towards my band 
became more and more hyperbolic. I became suspicious of his behavior. I was shocked to look down and see he was filming up my skirt with a GoPro. There were no repercussions for his behavior. Adding that a member of his tour staff said he does this kind of thing all the time. After several other women would come forward, Marilyn Manson decided to sue Evan Rachel Wood on March the 2nd. He filed a defamation lawsuit against her, calling her allegations of sexual abuse against him a malicious falsehood. He claims that her organized attack is why he has been accused by multiple women of sexual misconduct since the actress first named him as her alleged abuser in February 2021. This detailed complaint has been filed to stop a campaign of malicious and unjustified attacks on Brian Warner, adding that the evidence of wrongdoing by Wood is irrefutable. It does seem like he has been a problem for years. He probably thought that he would get away with all of this stuff that he's been doing over the years. I do think some of this stuff was like, because he was a shock rocker, you know? I think some of the things that he did, especially in the 90s, was probably shock value crazy shit, you know? But that doesn't take away from the fact that a lot of these women are scarred for life like traumatized, have been through some things when it comes to this man. It's situations like this where you really can't pick a side because you don't know who's telling the truth, you know? But there's so many people that have the same story that are coming out saying the same thing. It's hard not to believe these victims. So if you haven't liked this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!